When the cold, dark months of winter settle in, many animals will pack up and migrate out. Other animals will hunker down and hibernate, and still some will stick around and adapt to their surroundings. My name is Elena, and I'm an environmental education major here at UWSP. And a couple years ago, I moved up here from central Illinois, and I had to adapt to the freezing cold temperatures that Wisconsin winters have. And so, as temperatures plummet, the cottontail rabbits that call central Wisconsin home must adapt to their surroundings and to the climate. So, how do they do this? Those of us that stick out the winter months in Wisconsin know better than to forgo our winter coats when it's below freezing. And the cottontail rabbits must also adapt their wardrobe to survive the cold. So what is an adaptation? An adaptation is a change in a species that helps make them better suited to their environment. During the fall months, cottontail rabbits will stop shedding their fur in order to retain a thick fur coat to help keep them warm in winter. Just like the cottontail rabbits, we also change our wardrobe and start wearing things like gloves and hats to keep us warm. A rabbit's thick fur coat can help keep them warm in temperatures as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit. In order to survive below this temperature, they must remain dry and shelter from the wind. How many of you find yourself saying this phrase in winter? If only it weren't for the wind, it would be nice out. I bet rabbits would agree. Now, I want you all to think of an all-you-can-eat buffet serving your favorite foods. What's on the menu? As the holidays approach, many of us switch up our eating habits to reflect the season. And cottontail rabbits do the same, but out of necessity for survival. They adapt their eating habits by changing what's on the menu. In the winter, they will eat woody plants that are close to the ground. You can think of Schmeekly Reserve as a golden corral buffet, but with all you can eat twigs, pine needles, bark, and the buds on the menu. Rabbits must forage for different foods that are available during winter and for food that isn't buried by the snow. I want you all to imagine a blizzard snowed you in and you're low on food and can't get out. This feeling of panic and the fear of the unknown are everyday realities for rabbits during winter. Each day, cottontail rabbits must go out and search for food, regardless of if there is a foot of snow on the ground. During the summer months, we spend a great deal of time outdoors, but come winter, we change our habits and start spending more time indoors. And cottontail rabbits do the same thing. They also adapt their habits to better survive the cold. And there are a couple reasons that they do this. First, while their winter fur coat is lighter in color than their summer fur coat, they still stand out against a white snowy backdrop. Why might this be a problem? Their brown fur is much easier to spot by predators hunting them. So rabbits will change their movement. They will seek out natural hiding spots in the forest and dart between these spots. The second reason rabbits adapt their movement patterns is to conserve body heat. They will puff themselves up similar to how we might insulate ourselves with several warm blankets. Additionally, they will flatten their long ears against their head to prevent extra heat from escaping through their ears. These two adaptations help cottontail rabbits better survive the cold winter months here in Wisconsin. When winter comes knocking on central Wisconsin's door, the cottontail rabbits that call this place home must prepare to survive through special adaptations. By growing thicker fur coats, changing their eating habits, and adapting their movements, they're better able to survive the cold, harsh winters of Wisconsin. And I want to encourage you all to get out this winter and look for signs of rabbits, and maybe you'll see some active this winter.